Good morning, this is Andrea, and welcome to the Homemaking Maven. So today is part of my how-to series, and today I am going to show you how to make ham soup. And I know it is so warm outside right now, I don't know why you'd want a ham soup recipe, but it was asked for many, many weeks ago, and I filmed this many weeks ago, so here it is. So to start the soup, pour eight cups of water into a very large soup pot. Next, you'll add a nice meaty ham bone. We usually cook a roast and wrap the ham bone in tin foil, stick it in the freezer until it's time to make the soup. And there is my meaty ham bone, if I can pick it up. <laughs> Put it right into the pot of water. It's nice to use tongs just because once the soup is boiling, I will be rotating the bone so that the boiling water touches every part of that meat and the meat will fall off. I also saved some ham juices, about half a cup uh, to a cup worth of ham juices from the bottom of the roasting pan, and I just put that in as well. So this will just plop in like a giant ice cube. Now with my bone and my juices and my water in my pot, I put on a lid and I let it boil for a few hours. Now that that's got a good steady boil going, I am going to turn that way down to low and just let that simmer for a few hours. It's been an hour now, so I am going to rotate this with my tongs and that way the boiling water will get to the top of the bone and get that meat. And so the meat is gonna get really, really tender and by the time this is done, after about three hours of boiling, this meat is just gonna fall right off. And you can already see, ah, I'm steaming up. You can already see the broth is getting quite thick. I am now gonna prep the vegetables. So I'm getting five potatoes, you know, relatively small palm-sized potatoes, a small onion, one carrot, and about a cup's worth of diced celery. This is about two stalks, and the reason it's already frozen is because I bought a ton of celery in the fall of last year and cut it up and froze it because it was on sale for super duper cheap, and I thought, you know what, I will save that and I will use that for my soups. So that's why my celery looks like that, but I can just dump that right into the soup and it'll cook perfect. There are all my vegetables chopped, just chopped into, you know, bite-sized pieces that would fit on your spoon. I decided not to chop the last potato because the potatoes I had were big enough. You want about two to three cups of potatoes, and then there's my celery, and so I'm going to pour that in my pot now. I am now going to remove the bone from my pot. This is by far the hardest part. You can see how soft all the meat has gotten. The joint is just falling apart. There, you want to scoop out any little bones. All right. And now I can pour my vegetables in. So I'll need to turn the heat back up because my vegetables will need to boil at a higher temperature. So increase the temperature, no longer at a simmer but bring it back to a boil. So just increase it slightly. And while that is increasing in temperature, I get to take all the meat off of the bone. I have found the best way to get the meat off the bone is just to use two forks, one to sort of hold the, the bone and the other just to use to uh, pull the meat off. And so I just go around like this just pulling the meat apart and off the bone and uh, obviously I don't want any a lot of this fatty stuff so that'll just go off to the side but I'll make a nice little pile of the meat over here and put that back into my soup. So after all that all I'm really left with in terms of meat is about half a cup or so but that's okay because that soup, that broth tastes a lot like ham. You won't even notice that there's so little actual meat in the soup. Anyways, I'll add that back in and everything else, it'll just get thrown out. And once my meat has been added back in and I've got my potatoes there, the last thing I add are my spices. So you'll want some pepper just to taste. So if you don't like pepper, you don't have to add it. But I add a bit of pepper. 
I want to add about a teaspoon of salt. Now, of course, you can taste it before you add the salt just because a bo ham bone is fairly salty already and so you may not want to add salt to yours but I find it needs just a little bit so I add just a teaspoon of salt and then I add this. Uh, this is called savory. I was introduced to this by my mother-in-law. She grows it in her garden and um, actually it's a lot like marjoram if you're familiar with marjoram and so that's just what it looks like and so you don't need much of that, maybe um, a teaspoon or so. Yeah, we'll go with a teaspoon. And continue to let it cook until all the vegetables are cooked through about half an hour. And here is what the soup looks like when it's laid it out. With the girls, I've given them a little less broth and a little more vegetables, just because Eating broth when you're a kid is a little tricky. So this is what it looks like. A few chunks of meat, a lot of potato, but oh, it is so tasty. And of course, I like to serve it with a slice of fresh bread. All right, Brooklyn, you're trying the soup. Do you like it? You're mostly eating the bread right now, but it is good soup, right? It is so good. You like it, Evelyn? It's good soup. If you do end up with leftovers, I find they freeze real. It freezes really, really well. And that is it. That is the whole recipe. It is that simple. Again, written down below if you want this to read the full thing all in one go. And that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Make sure you come back. You don't want to miss any of my super fun videos. And I will see you then. Bye!